Correct me if I'm wrong, but and I might be wrong about this because I don't think I've considered everything, but it feels to me that 100% of the signals are pointing toward Trump except the polls we all believe are fraudulent. Is that true? I'll, I'll go through the list and see if I left anything out. Number one, enthusiasm. All Trump, right? So if you're looking at all the intangibles that are not part of the polling, enthusiasm, Trump. Signage, Trump. There's a, some kind of statistic that says that if you win the primaries as a sitting president and you get over 75% of the votes in the primaries, as a sitting president, you win re-election almost every time. So Trump, of course, crushed that, uh, that measure. He got way more than 75%, so that signals a victory. Trump is in roughly the same place in the polls as he was against Clinton, actually maybe a little better. That signals victory. Uh, you see Trump surging at the right time and you know, doing his, his heavy work thing at the end of the, the cycle. That strongly suggests good things for Trump. New voter registration, I understand, is heavily Republican. That signals Trump. Ground game looks better because the Biden people stayed home, the Trump people knocked on doors. That signals Trump. Um, Biden isn't even going to the right states. I guess he's going to Georgia. <laughs> it's like he's not even trying. Um, so you got Trump going to all the right places. You've got Biden going to a place that sort of doesn't even make sense, and he's not even going to many places. You've seen the level of black support for Trump, which by itself, if, the, if there were no other things you were looking at, and you just saw the level of black support for Trump, uh, it's going through the roof, that alone would tell you he's going to get reelected. Now, I know that he may have lost uh, suburban women, etc., but I'll tell you, this Amy Coney Barrett thing has a lot of levels to it. Sure, the Democrats don't like it because she's conservative. But if you're a suburban woman and you're watching Amy Coney Barrett, aren't you impressed? Even if you hate her politics, aren't you just impressed as hell? Just about her as a human being, as a as a mother, as a now a servant to the public, impressive as hell. And who nominated her to the Supreme Court? A woman who looks like the model of suburban women? Trump. I feel as though Trump is going to get some suburban mother appreciation for this pick, even though it was political and even though she's conservative. There's something about it that just feels like it's violating whatever they thought about him, sexism or whatever. So it counters that a little bit. So he's got that going for him. He's got the incumbent advantage in general. Incumbents normally get elected no matter what. And like I said, that um, the motivation of packing the Supreme Court, I think, is sort of split on the Democratic side, whereas the enthusiasm for Trump among Republicans... It's sky high. It's sky high. I just don't know the Democrats have that. And of course, Biden is decomposing, and everybody can see that. I think it was Joe Rogan who said this on the Kanye interview, maybe. He, he, he had this great physical analogy. He said that voting for Biden was like uh, going for a hike in the woods at night, and you brought a flashlight with a dying battery. <laughs> and it probably wor won't work out well for you. <laughs> <laughs> the the imagery of a flashlight with a dying battery as you go into the woods at night is one of the all-time best, you know, descriptions of that. <laughs>